when you look at the mentoring side of being taught how to lead, I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult. And I'm just, uh, how have you handled that? Um, I'm very fortunate that over the years I have um, mentors and coaches and to be able to bounce off ideas. Because the sounding uh, board. Uh, the sounding board is very important because um, sometimes, as, as people say, you know, a CEO role can be quite lonely. Mm. And if you keep thinking about the same thing on your own, you probably come up with the wrong answer. Mm. And to provide the same support system for our direct report, and some of them don't recognize. For example, self-awareness is very important. And how do you how do you, do you teach self-awareness? Yeah. Very difficult. It's very difficult. Yeah. Uh, so, in your experience, mentors have given you good advice or um, guidance. What kind of advice or guidance do they actually give you? Is it about something to go and learn something, or is it more direct about a behaviour? I think the best coaches are those who do not give answers. And they just keep asking you, and somehow they, through self-discovery, you come up with your own solution. Mm. Not easy to find because um, there's a lot of coaches who are ex-CEO and they say, here's the answer mm. and uh, go and do it. And it doesn't work like that. And when you look at it from the company perspective, how should they support CEOs better, do you think? A very supportive board, mm. um, a good relationship with the chairman or, and the leading director. Mm the ability to really talk about strategy, people, how changes are being managed. Uh, when I look at the board, there's a fine balance between diversity, not, not in, in terms of diversity of gender or industry, but diversity in terms of views.